Here we have Pueblo Benito. This is probably one of the most famous sites here in Chaco Canyon. Lieutenant James Simpson and his Mexican guide Caraval named Pueblo Benito beautiful town in Spanish. The site also has Pueblo, Hopi, and Navajo place names. For the Hopi and the Pueblo peoples of New Mexico, Pueblo Benito is a special part of their ancestral homeland where clans stopped and lived during their sacred migrations. Pueblo Bonito is the most thoroughly investigated, visited, and celebrated cultural site here in Chaco Canyon. It was planned and constructed in stages from about 850 to 1150 of the Common Era by ancestral Puebloan peoples. This was the center of their Chacoan world. For more than 300 years, Chacoan culture united many diverse people. That world eventually covered a vast area of the present-day Southwest, including the San Juan Basin of New Mexico and portions of Colorado, Utah, and Arizona. You're now entering the two major plazas of Pueblo Benito. These open areas are well defined by the multi-storied room blocks that flank them to the north, east, and west. A central wall aligned along a north-south axis of Pueblo Benito into eastern and western plazas. What's really amazing is that that uh, wall, which we're going to look at right now, is exactly north-south. So their knowledge of geometry and astronomical research had to be pretty incredible. So you can see this wall right here is exactly magnetic north and south. Understand that they had no compasses and the North Star was in a different location a thousand years ago. This large round subterranean structure is called a Great Kiva. Modern Puebloans use kivas for religious worship, preparation, dance, prayer, vigils, gap, public gatherings, and other activities. Great Kivas were a key element of Chacoan public architecture and are found in nearly every Chacoan community built between 900 and 1200 of the Common Era. Great kivas are often within or near the plazas of great houses. Some are along roads or on prominent ridges and hills, and others, like Casa Rinconada, house across the canyon, were central to communities. The unique design, size, and central position of great kivas suggest a ceremonial purpose, public gathering, and places for communities and others to worship. Here you can see the expanse of this great plaza. And you can imagine a thousand years ago, there could have been anywhere between a thousand or two thousand people here at any one time, none of which were permanent residents, but used this location as possible ceremonial um, location or uh, for trading purposes or gatherings or get-togethers. Here again, you see another great kiva. Here in this great plaza of Pueblo Benito.